Hey everybody, welcome. I got this uh, little one inch by about a foot by about seven inch piece of walnut. Uh, it's been sitting around. I'm gonna go ahead and make a cigar ashtray out of this. So stick around, it should be fun. All right, I just cut angles on here. I, this is gonna be the top, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is I, I prepared this glue block piece of plywood on a base plate. I'm gonna glue it here. I'm just gonna clean this surface flat. Take this off, glue it on this side. I don't know if I'm gonna off center it a little, if I can, if it'll fit on my lathe. And then uh, this will be the top. So let's go ahead and glue this on. We'll let that cool off and we'll get it on the lathe. I had to cut the length down to get it to turn on my lathe. It's, it's well mounted, pretty balanced. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom flat. So I got that pretty flat. I'm going to go ahead and use this side for the top, for the ashtray. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting in my dome. So let's get that done. So I have the inside here sanded to like 240. I'm gonna cut my circle to put my, uh, to put the snuff, stainless steel snuff inside. So let's go ahead and get that done. inside here sand it down to 400 what I'm going to do is clean it off with alcohol put a sanding sealer on it then I'm going to glue my um, my stainless steel snuff inside that way when I polish it with the my axe abrasive paste I'll polish the steel also so let's go ahead and clean this up and put some sanding sealer on it So I sanded the inside, I cut the thing to accept the, uh, the stainless steel. I still have to sand the outside here. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sand this with my finishing sander. Then I'll attach this with some super glue. I'll attach that with some super glue, put it back on the lathe, and then polish everything. So that's what you're gonna see me do.
Okay, I sanded this up good enough. I think I went up to like 150. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm looking, I'm trying to get that kind of rough look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and crazy glue, super glue my piece inside. I'll let that dry, and then we'll get it back on the lathe. So that's nice and dry in there. We'll get it on the lathe and polish this inside up. Let's get that done. I got this all polished up, a little dusty. I got this all polished up. I misplaced my heat gun. So I'm gonna to try to use this little cutter to uh, cut off the glue. So let's try it. Let's clean up the bottom. So I have the bottom flat enough. Got this center polished up. I still got to touch this up with some steel wool or something. But I'm going to go ahead and put the recesses in for so you can lay your cigar down um i don't know i think i'm just going to do them on the long side because it's just going to be the easiest on the sander but let's go ahead and get that done All right, I put those little grooves in. They're pretty nice, pretty straight. They're not perfectly lined up with each other, but hey, life goes on. So let me go ahead and put a little bit of sanding sealer on here. Let that dry. Then I'm gonna hit it all with the steel wool and it's gonna be pretty, and I'll just put the thing for my emblem and we should be ready to put that one up for sale. Well, here it is guys. It's about nine and a half by about seven. It's got the stainless steel snuff, uh, two cigar holders, the kind of rough liveage edge. I put a hole for my, uh, my logo. The bottom's nice and flat. Um, walnut, just a sanding sealer, like a shellac finish on it. 
did the inside with the axe paste. Um, I like it. I really like it. It's a nice little ashtray. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, like, dislike, uh, leave a comment, you know, all those good things. I'm going to give you a couple stills of this at the end. Um, thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Shut up and sit down.